I am First Lieutenant Edwin Wiley. I'm the Assistant S2 for the 100th Missile Defense Brigade, and I am one of the brigade's victim advocates. Over the years, uh, I became aware of the impact that sexual assault and sexual harassment had on not only my family members, but a lot of people that were close to me throughout my life. And that awareness drove me to become a big supporter of the Army SHARP program. I volunteered to become a victim advocate myself a little over six years ago now. And the skills that I have learned and the training that I've received as a victim advocate not only helps me to support my military organization, fellow soldiers, but also those people in my life who have been survivors of sexual assault and sexual harassment themselves. During the annual SHARP training uh, that's conducted, there are often soldiers who unfortunately are, don't take the uh, education as seriously as they might otherwise. And this may be because they don't understand the importance or they don't recognize the seriousness of the topic because either they haven't been affected by it in their own personal life. Uh, so I would say that we need to continue to help these soldiers understand the seriousness of it and the impact it has to survivors. We want to ensure that all soldiers understand the reporting requirements, the chain of command, and what our roles as victim advocates are. Uh, I believe that we need to continue to ensure that uh, soldiers uh, understand the importance of what we're doing and to help them recognize how serious an issue it truly is for anyone who is a survivor of sexual assault and sexual harassment. So as a victim advocate, my role is to support any survivor of sexual assault or sexual harassment 100%. I have complete confidentiality. Anything that is shared with me will not leave me uh, unless authorized by the survivor. Uh, I am there to support them through the entire process from reporting uh, the incident to me all the way through the investigation and to any conclusion that may occur uh, resulting from the investigation. I am available to provide resources and support 24-7. Uh, so we become a 100% support system for any survivor of, vic of sexual assault or sexual harassment. And so I see my role as being that body, that human being, uh, to stand by a victim through the process, to have someone that they can count on as part of their organization. I believe that we have all had people in our lives who have been affected in one way or another by sexual assault or sexual harassment. And a skeptic may simply not be aware of how it's affected people close to them. A lot of people uh, believe in the stigma of sexual assault and sexual harassment and they aren't comfortable sharing it with people in their lives. And so you may not be aware of the impact it's had. And so me, you may not understand how serious it has been to people in your own life. Um, that doesn't mean that we can't educate and promote uh, a, a military free from sexual harassment and sexual assault. So I would say to anyone who is a survivor of sexual assault or sexual harassment, there are individuals in your organization that care. And so it may be uncomfortable and you may not be ready to come forward, but when you are, please seek out those people. We have resources for you and we're willing to help and stand by you.